In this video lecture, I will discuss about the carbon dioxide gas laser. Myself, Sushil Kumar. So, the introduction of the carbon dioxide gas laser. Uh, this was the first uh, gas laser invented by the Kumar Patel of Bell Labs in 1964. And this is one of the most useful gas laser. As you know that carbon dioxide gas, gas lasers are the highest power continuous wave lasers that are currently available. They are also quite efficient. The ratio of output power to pump power can be as large as 20%. So the CO2 laser produces a beam of infrared light with the principal wavelength bands centering around 9.6 micrometer to the end 10.6 micrometers so these are two wavelengths basically which uh, emits from the uh, co2 gas laser and comes into the infrared region principle of uh, co2 gas laser is that for the laser action, two points are important, you know, one is the population inversion between the two levels and second point is increased density of the incident radiation. So these two points are important for any laser, one is the population inversion and second point is about the density of incident radiation. The principle of a carbon dioxide laser is transition between vibrational states of the same electronic state by achieving population inversion between these states. So here first of all I will discuss those vibrational modes which are possible into the CO2 molecules uh, yes, when it basically get excited. So here central part is carbon and this red circle denote to the oxygen. So this is the CO2 molecule. So the first case is about the asymmetric stretching mode. So first possibility is this one. Here this is asymmetric stretching mode. So in case of stretching mode you have seen that this oxygen atom moves towards the carbon atom and this carbon atom which is at the center of these two moves towards it the second oxygen and this oxygen moves towards it so that is denoted by the arrow if this possibility is available in this CO2 molecule that mode is known as asymmetric mode you can see it again so this is the idea of asymmetric stretching mode into the CO2 molecule. Now the second possibility of vibration is of bending mode. So same here at the center this is carbon, this one is oxygen and oxygen. What happens in the bending mode basically? So this is the possibility. Right, it can go up and these two oxygen atoms can downward or this green carbon atom comes downward and these two goes upward so this is the situation you can see it again now the oxygen is coming downward right so this is the bending mode and at the last that is the symmetric stretching in symmetric stretching you see that carbon remains at the center and there is no displacement of this only the oxygen atom displaces at equal distance from the carbon you can see it again like this so this kind of mode is known as symmetric stretching mode so now the symmetric, asymmetric or bending mode is shown here with different different frequency nu1, nu3 and nu2 in symmetric case you see that you can see here that this is the central atom 
of carbon and these are oxygen so in symmetric case when these vibrate so the distance is almost same and in asymmetric stretching into the CO2 you can see here the distance it vibrate like this one and oxygen like this one and carbon itself also so this is the possible explanation of the asymmetric stretching vibration and here in bending you can see that this can move upward and downward similarly this oxygen can move upward and downward and this carbon also so these are three possible modes of vibration into the CO2 molecule when it get excited now the next part is about the construction of the CO2 gas laser as you know that it consists of discharge tube of size about 2.5 cm in diameter and 5 cm in length so there are two optically plane and parallel mirrors one is of them is completely reflector and second one is the partially reflector the discharge tube is filled with a mixture of carbon dioxide nitrogen and helium gases with this ratio 15% carbon dioxide 15% nitrogen and 70% from of helium respectively at a pressure of few millimeter of the mercury and the third point is a high value of DC voltage is used for electric discharge in the tube due to which CO2 molecules breaks into CO and O carbon monoxide and oxygen to maintain the equilibrium of CO2 molecules into this gas discharge tube a small amount of water is added to regenerate the CO2 molecules right so first of all about the construction and in the construction that there are three gases CO2 and 2 and helium here CO2 is up with the ratio of 15% 15% and this helium is with the 70% this is the ratio of these gas gases which we are using here this is electric discharge tube and our power supply at high voltage DC voltage and electric discharge basically take place and because of that this N2 atom first of all get excited they collide with the carbon dioxide and as a result carbon dioxide vibrates into the different modes and at the last 10.6 micrometer wavelength comes out right and 9.6 also so working of the CO2 laser right now you know that uh, the vibrational and rotational modes of the CO2 cannot be excited themselves by photons right we cannot excite uh, the CO2 molecules by the optical pumping process so what pumping process basically we use here we use electric discharge method when a voltage is placed across the gas electrons first of all collide with the N2 molecules and as a result these N2 molecules get excited which basically transfer their energy to the CO2 molecule by collision and as a result what happens these vibration levels happen to be at an energy level which is very close to the energy of the asymmetric vibrational states in the CO2 molecules so first of all what happens when these excited N2 molecules collide with the CO2 molecules as a result CO2 molecules first of all comes into this asymmetric vibrational state so the excited N2 molecules basically populate the asymmetric vibrational states in the CO2 molecule through collision. So this is our first point that how we are populating the CO2 molecule state. We are populating CO2 molecule states by using the N2 nitrogen gas. First of all nitrogen gas as I said here excite with the help of these electrons electrons collide with the N2 molecules right so this is the way so you can see here these are asymmetric stretching oxygen move towards the C 
oxygen this second oxygen move far away from the carbon and this carbon towards it so this is asymmetric stretching symmetric stretching and you can see bending here so first of all this is the ground level of the nitrogen gas by pumping process we excite this nitrogen gas into this particular excited state which is near about to the asymmetric stretching of the CO2 molecule right this side is for nitrogen and this side is for the carbon dioxide so this nitrogen basically transfer their energy to the CO2 molecule the CO2 molecule comes into the asymmetric stretching level and from here the transition basically takes place in different different vibrational state so there are three state asymmetric stretching symmetric stretching and bending as I told you earlier that the CO2 molecules come first of all into the asymmetric stretching level and from here it basically uh, jumps into the uh, symmetric stretching and the bending into these two different states this is the transition correspond to the asymmetric stretching and this one bending the wavelength which emit basically is of the order of 9.6 micrometer and in case of asymmetric <coughs> stretching to the symmetric stretching the wavelength which emits is of the order of 10.6 micrometer and there is another possibility between these symmetric and bending that is the collision so by this way this can come into the ground state here and it can comes directly also by this way so this is the state of CO2 which is close to the ground state so this is fast decay so fast decay process they come into the ground state now working of the CO2 laser you have seen that infrared output of the laser that comes into the 10.6 micrometer and 9.6 micrometer this is the range of infrared region right so the infrared output of the laser is the result of transition between rotational states of the CO2 molecules of the first asymmetric vibrational mode that is represented by 0, 0, 001 to the two different rotational states of both the first symmetric that is denoted by 100 0, 0, and the second is 0, 020 0. basically this is the code for a particular vibrational state or rotational state now the application of uh, CO2 gas laser this we achieve high power from the CO2 gas laser and because of that it's widely used into the industry so for cutting purpose and welding purpose also for the also in medical they are also very useful in surgical procedure because water absorbs this frequency of light very well so some examples of medical uses are laser surgery skin resurfacing that sometimes is known as laser facelifts so this is the widely used laser in all of other lasers thanks thanks for watching this video if you have any question or doubt you can message me below this